What's up guys? LK back on the tube here. Got a brand new unboxing. This one from Pure Evil Masks. This is a uh, Halloween Kills rehaul. This is uh, originally the Tots release. Cost about 70 bucks. Sent it off to this gentleman here and he turned it to the dark side even more so. He's been posting a lot of pictures of it so I've been pretty giddy to get my hands on it. Sometimes I see people ask the question, why have a mask rehaul? Um, if you've seen the retail version of a lot of masks, Tots in particular, the Halloween Kills mask, for example, was created from the movie mode. But when you uh, take into account it's mass produced, the paint and, and the overall look at it generally pretty unsatisfactory if you're going for screen accuracy. But having said that, since it is made from the movie mode, you can send it off to a rehaul artist who will put new hair on it, completely strip the paint, and uh, apply a little uh, cinema magic to it. So that's what we're looking for here. And if this bad boy is anything like the pictures that I've seen, gonna be a really happy camper here. <laughs> Straight out the burn unit. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Whoa. That's what I'm talking about. Damn. Extra crispy. <laughs> And the detail here is uh, so badass. I'm almost afraid to touch it too much. I'm afraid it's gonna like crumble because it looks that burnt. Yeah. It's a nice little touch. This is what he's stuffed him with. That is very good work. If you can check out the hair here. A nice shot of that so we can get that detail. I was wanting to have a 2018 uh, H40 mask rehaul. And, uh, sent it off to somebody and I'm still waiting. It's like three years later. But to be honest, I don't really care now. This is the one I want. I'll be doing another video here soon to show the full costume showcase. I don't have the whole thing now. I'm waiting on some clothes to get uh, weathered up and nastified with some burn effects and things like that. But I will try them on. fit for my size head actually wasn't too bad you know it was a little bit snug but not nearly as tight as I was expecting I mean obviously a nag 25 inch castle it's got the right amount of room but uh, this thing it'll do well when I put it on it, it didn't really seem like the form changed too much you know it didn't add that like really extreme warlock effect you know that uh, some of the other standard size masks can do but uh, I'll be back soon with a full costume showcase as soon as I get the clothes back from my man in uh, California. Mr. Josh Ludman always does good work. Pure Evil Masks on Instagram. Give the guy a shout if you'd like to pick up some of his work. He's a really good person to deal with. Didn't have any problems whatsoever. He's always been really nice to me. And obviously, the guy's pretty talented. I think his work speaks for itself. Check him out. We'll see you soon with a full costume showcase. Halloween kills, baby.